Kakados Parashat Vaikra, we'll first do the halachot and then we'll try to do the introduction. The halacha says in halacha Aleph of Vaikra. Beta Knesset to Beta Midrash Nikra Migdash Meat. The Beta Knesset and Beta Midrash is called, the Beta Midrash are called the Migdash Meat, the small uh, temple. Tichtiv, and it says in the Pasuk Vaikra, the Migdash Meat. Elu Beta Knesset to the Nesho, these are the Beta Knesset, the other Beta Nesho. The Poskim the say, there's a mitzvah, Liram in a Migdash. There's a mitzvah to fear the Mikdash, noheg bebet ha-kneset, but the Mikdash with Doraita, which means that there's a mitzvah Doraita to fear whether it's going to be the synagogue or the Bet HaMidrash. And therefore, Raul ha-zinam yichudam, l'ashevet sham be'ema v'ira, and therefore you have to be very careful with the kabod of the Bet ha-kneset, the Bet ha-midrash, and to sit there with fear. Ve'otam anu agim ha'im s'chok v'kalut rosh, and the people that they come to the synagogue, and they start laughing around, doing all these things, alem ne'eman v'ne'er zod, mili kesh zod b'yanchem, who asks you for this? Uzor ha-kadosh yifli b'on about somebody, somebody that comes and he's there, somebody that comes and speaks mundane things in the synagogue, Israel. he does not have a portion in the God of Israel. Here, listen to this of Yalkut Yosef. Yalkut Yosef says, somebody that has a machshir telephone nayad, somebody that has a, a telephone, you have to turn it off before going into the synagogue, in order that it's not going to ring in the middle of the, of the tefillah. And then it's going to start, stop, is going to bother with the kavanot, the intention, the concentrations of the people that are praying. And also, don't use, don't leave it on retet, don't leave it on, on silent mode, on, on uh, vibrate, right? Because it bothers himself even for tefillah. I mean, Raoui, and also it's proper for the gabayim, shomem, shomem, kodesh, that they should come and tell the people of the Bet Knesset that if they come in with a synagogue, they should turn it off when they come into the synagogue. Very important. I can't find it. And we explained the Kavanah, Derech Mashkidav Afika Yehuda, Mamar Achav Kavar Beloke Yisrael, Vahenu Kiyakadosh Baruch Hu is called Eloke Yisrael. Why? Because there's no Sar and Tzai, which means all the nations of the world, they have like an intermediary angel. The Jews have no intermediary angels. Aval Nikra, right? That's why we're, he, Hashem is called Eloke Yisrael, the God of Israel. But to do with Umot Olam, he's called Eloke Elohim, the God of Gods. Why is that? Because they do have ministering angels in between. How do we know that we don't have a mystery? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes and he puts a shechina on the technical of the Torah. And therefore, if you're going to come in Zazdel, it comes out, Kilo, you do not agree that the shechina there. You're not admitting that the shechina there. Therefore, you don't have a chilek, which means that that's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu is. Right? Okay, he said. Fine. Bet. Number two. Some people, they come to the synagogue and they start speaking, whether it's to children, or they start speaking about, you know, parnasa. Afar bishadvari. Now, this is not considered dvarim betelim. Listen, you're trying to make a parnasa. It's not like you're speaking uh, mamash. Uh, you know, the, but asur la soch b'meta knesset. You're not allowed to speak about them in the beta knesset. Right? Vayne eshel Avraham. Halacha gimel. Eshel Avraham. The primary thing. It's a sefer. Yeah. Gimel. En ochlim v'shotim b'ayim. You're not allowed to eat and drink in the beta knesset. Yod v'lo metalim b'ayim. You're not allowed to come and start like wandering around. You don't adorn yourself there. You don't go into this because of the sun. Being right now, a guy is uh, boiling. So he's coming into the synagogue. Why is he coming into the synagogue? Because he's boiling. That's not the reason why you should come to the synagogue. right? Or because it's raining, so you come in because it's raining. Right? There's not a bus shelter. You know what I'm saying? And some people are also in drinking water there. You should try to be lizahed. You should try to be careful if you can. Meal, however, though, the people that come to the Bet Knesset to learn Zohar HaKadosh a few hours before Mincha during the summertime, and it's very, very hot, and they count without water, so therefore you don't have to be machmi. I guess I guess that's why in, in Miami it's so thing about the, the water in the Bet Knesset. Em mechashvim behem cheshbonot. Says Alecha Dal. Right? Alecha 4. Right? They're not going to start making calculations in the Bet Knesset unless they're a mitzvah. For example, Kupa Vetztaka, right? For the Tzedakah boxes or the, you know, Tzedakah campaigns or Pidyon Shvuim or things to do with you know, re- re- rescuing people that are captured. Even taxes, for example, to find out how much they give to the government, how much they give back, or that you're coming and you're evaluating how much you're supposed to come and give. You're not supposed to do it in the Midrash. And even if they're going to make board meetings, it's better to do it in a private house. Because Basifa, it's impossible that you're not going to come and start speaking about all these different things. And any Seuda that has Shikhrut, so don't do a Purim Seuda. Yeah? Any Seuda that has Shikhrut, yeah, they should not do it, even though it's a mitzvah. For example, Siyum Masechet or whatever it is, you're not allowed to do it in Bethlehem Nesset with the Midrash. And Sifri Kadan of Palimi brings down in Chuvah that you're not allowed to, that is a suit to learn even Ketivan Kriya. 
in other languages in the Beit Knesset and the Midrash. And even if it's going to be Lashon Aravi, right? Arabic, not allowed to. But Ketiva Shel Yisrael, which is half Ashurit, should write, so then that's going to be Mutar. Okay, so here it says in the footnote, Halichot Olam and Yalkut Yosef, they say that there's a minhan to be mekel to do Suda Mitzvah in the Beit Knesset, for example, Suda Masechet or Suda Shabbat. Nevertheless, they should be trying to fit not to do a Suda that they start drinking wine and Shechad and all those things. Mechel Kol Suda Sheish Bachashash, they shouldn't do it in the Beit Okay? Fine. It says here, and their students, they're allowed to come and eat and drink in the Beit HaKnesset, right? But in Beit HaKnesset, even less. Meaning, a Beit HaKnesset has more leniency for eating and drinking than Beit HaKnesset. Okay? Here it says, um, Okay, nowadays that uh, there's no difference between the Knesset and the Midrash, that even with the Midrash, you can't uh, just start come permitting eating and drinking and smoking and things like that. Dochak? Dochak is like an oppressing need, time and oppressing need. So he says that they're allowed to, the Kolim, they're allowed to come and eat and drink right. in the Beit Knesset. You know, he says that, you know, he's Yeah. So he says here, um, they're allowed to even sleep there, but other things you're not allowed to do. Now, drinking, so you're going to come and they're going to Drink, right? It says over here that's why the people that come to the, the Torah and they're allowed to come and start smoking whenever if it's very difficult for them to be a long time without smoking. Right? But if not, they're not allowed to smoke in the Beit Knesset. And even if there's a two parachot to that on a Kodesh, one on the inside, one on the outside, doesn't matter. You're not allowed to start, you know, doing all these things in the Beit Knesset in the synagogue. Fine. Allah Chavab, Habrim, the healthy people, right? That means they, they come, they, they have like a baston, they have the, like the stick, a staff. They have a king. So it says over here, they shouldn't bring it into the Beit HaKnesset when they come to pray. But rather, they should put it in the, in the place where Shamash is there to put the talitot of the tzibur by the entrance. But a zaken v'chole, you don't have to be machmin. Meaning, if it's a zaken v'chole, much an elderly person, so you can be mekel. But if it's just some people that are healthy and they just use this, you know, like as a walking stick or whatever it is, that they shouldn't do it. So basically, an elderly person or a sick person, they could take it into where they actually sit. Okay? Um, fine. Also, you should be careful not to bring into, like, you know, dirt or whatever it is into the Beit HaKnesset. So there, they, when it used to rain in Baghdad, it used to be a big problem here. It says, fine. If you have to go into the Beit HaKnesset for the necessity, for example, you have to, for your own necessity, for example, you have to call somebody. So you have to go into the synagogue or the Beit HaKnesset, but you have to call somebody, right? You go in. But you have to first read the Perek of Tilim or Divret Torah. And then afterwards, you call the guy. If you don't know how to learn, Sit down and just stay there. Whether you're sitting or standing, it's also mitzvah. Because it says, Asher Yeshove, Betecha. Fortune is a person that comes and sits here. So therefore, even if you cannot come and you, you just come in and you learn. Okay? <clears throat> right? The yeshiva zu, he lashon sheyah. So when it says, Yeshiva, Asher Yeshove, Betecha, it doesn't mean literally sitting. It means that you're staying there. Sheyah, that you're just staying there. Right? That you're dwelling there. Okay? Fine. Halacha <laughs> chet. Right? You're not allowed to sleep in a bit of Knesset, even a Shinat Rai. And therefore, if you see that your friend is like dozing off, you have to, you're obligated to wake him up. Okay? And Kol Shekin, if you found him that he mamash dozed off in the middle of the Tefillah, or, the, or during the middle of the Dirasha. Yeah? You heard that? Yeah? I have, to tell, I have to tell people. Yeah? I have to charge them. Right? Why? Some people have to buy medicines, you know, sleeping pills. Is that I do magic. Right? I just get out there to talk, and all of a sudden you have mamash. They're just dozing. You could even hear them snoring. Yeah? Huh? Because if a person sleeping during the Dadarasha, you have to wake him up because he's removing his ears from listening to Torah. And therefore, Right? Isn't that something that actually... Yeah? He says here, The rest of the Pasuk is that means if you come... So imagine, a person comes to the synagogue and he sleeps during the Torah. Torah. Because he's Mesiros no Mishmo Torah, he's removing his ear from listening to Dvar Torah. I have people like that. They come, rabbi speech, they only talk. And then they want to dub it. And when they're dubbing, they're they, 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 rabbi speak. Uh, you have people that stop to that. 100%. Yeah, you understand? But, yeah. but not only talking, but talking or doing other things. Or that, but Mesiros no Mishmo Torah. But if he goes it, off, then Filatot uh, uh, no, Torah. Because he's, he's not paying attention to Torah. Is that something that if you, if you fall asleep, it is in Mishle Kavchet Tet, chapter 28, Patsuk 9. Fine. Alachat Tet. 
היה לבית הכנסת שני מתחים, if you have two entrances to the synagogue, לא ייכנס בית הזה ויצא בזה, don't go into one to go from the other in order to make a shortcut. Meaning, for example, you're walking down, let's say, Harding, whatever, you want to make a shortcut, so go through one way, go to Colin's, or always. Parallel, what's right? in the Shulchan Aruch. Exactly. If you don't go into the Kacel Darko, if you don't go into, in order to make your shortcut, it's going to be mutar to go out that path, because it's a mitzvah to go out through a different entrance, just like we just read in this, actually, last week's Haftarah. If you come into one entrance, you have to go through the other entrance. So that's actually, so it's actually brought down in the Haftarah. We just read in the Haftarah, this past parasha, that whenever you go into the Beit Dash, you're going one entrance to the other entrance, meaning that you don't, you go out through the same entrance. And even though we just said you're not allowed to go into one entrance, go out the other entrance to make a shortcut, nevertheless, for Tzorach Mitzvah, it's going to be permitted. And therefore, if you also went in in order to learn the Beit Knesset, it's going to be permitted, right, to go out, right, he says over here, to go out, in um, the other entrance, because then you're going in for a mitzvah. Okay? Nevertheless, he says, it's good to wait a little bit, so that way it's not going to be two mitzvot. Of the, the, why? Because then you're going to have the mitzvah of limud and shehiyah. Halacha yod. Midot chasidut. When we're talking about midot chasidut, shalol ilot klal v'vet knesset. Do not spit whatsoever in the v'vet knesset, but rather you put it inside of a tissue in order that it doesn't see that you, you know, you're coming and you're, you know, you're spitting in the v'vet knesset. If you have any type of, okay, this is talking about in the old days when they had the carpets and all these things, fine. Um, let's continue next. Okay, the shechita, you're not allowed to do shechita in the Beit Knesset. We're going to skip that as well. Um, okay, fine. It says over here like this. A person should be careful. Alecha you bet. You bet. Yeah, you bet. A person should be careful not to pray in the chatzer, which is behind the synagogue, which is behind the walls of the synagogues, but then he's praying. Why? Because now he gets into a nichnas, a bet by the He says, some people say that you have to actually have your face towards the wall of the Bet Knesset, even though you're praying the opposite way. And some people say that you have to actually always be on the same side of the synagogue, meaning sometimes there's a chatzer, and it depends how the synagogue was built. Sometimes the chatzer, like the entrance, like there's like a patio. Sometimes a patio is towards the east or the west. So it all depends where you are, where you're going to be praying. So because of that, if you're going to come, and let's say it was to the words, the, est, the west of the synagogue, Right, or the east of the synagogue. So now, you're in the patio. How do you pray? Do you pray towards the synagogue? Or do you pray towards the east? But if you're praying towards the east, you're giving your back to the synagogue. So because of that, he comes and he says, you get into a machloket, and then maybe you're called a rasha. So if he says, you should always go inside the synagogue, right, and therefore you don't get into any problems whatsoever. Okay? If you have two synagogues, right, one of them, you there's a lot of people, it's better to go to the place that they have more people. And you should be careful. If you have two synagogues, and one of them is further away, Right? So when you go to the further away one, you get more scharp siyot. You get more um, Dark, uh, every step. rewards for every single step. Right? The same thing on Bet HaKnesset. Right? Also, a synagogue that they pray every single day of the year is much holier than any other synagogue that they just pray only on Shabbatot or, you know, Yamin Tovim or all those things. He says that? Yes, he says I never that. heard that. I never saw that. Oh, I like it. Okay. And also he says a person should pray in a place which is holier. That has windows. You should have 12 windows, three on each side, and it's actually via Kabbalah. Okay? Now he says here, we have the in the middle of the Teva, okay? Which between the Chal and everything, it's better to talk to the Adam of the Avid, because when you start the you can look at the heavens. Why? Because then basically what you're doing is you're looking towards the heavens, and then you're becoming humble when you look towards the heavens. So that's also very important. Okay? Fine, you dalit. A teva which is in, in the middle of the synagogue, the teva is the bima. Yeah? A teva which is in the middle of the synagogue, right? That the shleach tzibur is there. Yesh the daktikim nasot shiva midelagot. Some people actually make seven steps to go up there. There's a reasoning of Piazot. Achenz, but it's not the ikuva. It's not like mamasha, you need to do seven steps. Because even if there's not seven steps, it's still a teva. You don't have a problem. Okay? Fine. Ema likin neret yom neret beta knesset. You don't light a regular candle from the candle of beta knesset. And some people prohibit even to light a nershal mitzvah. Now, the most, so you're not allowed to, to read with the light of the Beit Knesset, Tvarim Shilchol. Obviously, here we're talking about that, you know, they always used to have a candle, right, where they used to have, like, you know, they do it a lot by Ashkenazim, they have it all right where the Shlech Tzibur is, right, by the, so they have, like, a candle over there. They should have light all these different things from that candle, okay? Fine. Afterwards, uh, okay. Now he comes and he says like this, yeah? I'm going to do the introduction. Right, so the one that comes and he sins from the Kodesh, he's going to pay, he's going to add a fifth. What exactly are we referring to? So it comes out, because Chazal actually say, 
עתידים הצדיקים שעמלו לפניהם קדוש, כדי שעמלים לפני הקדוש ברוך הוא. היית הצדיקים in the future, they're going to say קדוש, just like they say in front of הקדוש ברוך הוא. בפירה של ביסטר בקבלן, what does it mean? שעמלו שלוש פעמים קדוש. what does it mean they're saying three times קדוש? זה מה שזה. קדוש שעמלים לפני הקדוש ברוך הוא, קדוש קדוש קדוש. והטעם שזוכרים דבר זה, so why are they going to, to hammer this in the future? And that means people are going to say to the tzadikim kadosh, just like the tzadikim say in front of the kadosh baruch hu, kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. Meaning, just like in this world, you're saying kadosh, 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 who are you saying to that? To, to Hashem. So too in the future, the tzadikim, it will be that, that they will say this to the tzadikim. So he says the reason why they're going to be zochet to this is kezechiyat adam shalosh pamim kadosh, 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 hu mikosh lemuto b'shalosh kedushot shem kedushat machshaba, kedushat adibur kedushat amaseh. The reason why is because there's three holinesses. There's holiness in your mind, in your speech, and in your action. And therefore, right? but it's only by the tzaddikim. They don't lack anything. But in the future, they will be able to do it. And therefore, they will be able to do it. And it's known. Then the man is able to do it in three words, and he is able to do it in the name of 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 the name. Some people, they have a Yetzirah. I know some people that they come, with well, the second they give in a little bit to the Yetzirah, that's it. You don't see them for the next two days. Yeah? So he comes and he says, so when it says, right, Libi Chalal Bekibi, you have to destroy the Yetzirah, that's going on the Yetzirah, Shnikra Lev. Al Bal Tshuva Be'emet, and on Bal Tshuva it says, Zoveach Yitzro, he destroys, he, he sacrifices his Yetzirah, who mitvadeh alav. And then he's going to come and he's going to do vidui. Ve'lachen and therefore Bal Tshuva Nikra Tavach, that's why the Bal Tshuva is called Tavach. He's a butcher, right? He makes a butcher, he makes a butcher, he butchers a Yitzhara, right? And one who is a butcher, who is a butcher, who is a butcher, right? As the Ochel Yishlemu Shalosh Baruch. So the person that comes and he destroys the Yitzhara, he's going to have this Kadosh, 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 which is one of the Machshava, Dibur Maaseh, in the mind, in their, your mouth, and in your, your speech, and in their actions. And therefore, Shalosh Pahamim Kadosh, 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 Remuzim B'miluyo Otiyo Tabach. What is Tabach? Tet, Bet, Chet. When you take Tet, How do you spell tet? Tet, yod, taf. Bet, bet, yud, taf. Bet. Chet, chet, yud, taf. Shloshtam, meluam, mispar, kadosh. Each one of them, right, has the same numerical value as kadosh. It means if you take the numerical value of the tet, it becomes kadosh, because tav is 400, tet is 9, yod is, is 419. How much is the numerical value of kadosh? You have 400, right, and... And, uh, and 10, I'm sorry, only the Miluam, meaning only the, the, the last two letters, meaning not the letter in itself. You have Tabach, right? So when you have Tabach, you have the Tet, but what is the filling letters? Yud Tet. What is the filling letters of Bet? Yud Taf. What is the filling letters of Chet? Yud Taf. Each one of them, Bet, Chet, Tet, the way that you spell it is with Yud Taf. Yud Taf is 410. The numerical value of Kadosh is 410. So that's why you have it, that when you become a Tabach, when you destroy your Yetzirah, you have Kadosh. That's why you have it. Okay? V'zehu she'aman, and that's what it means in the Pasuk when it says, V'tasher chata min ha-Kodesh, Yishalem. You're going to come and you're going to sin, you're going to pay. It says, that's what it says in the Pasuk, V'tasher chata min ha-Kodesh, Yishalem. The ot Aleph, them is l'machshava. The letter Aleph hints to the mind, because it's called b'shem Aleph. Shehim mechusev n'elem, because it's covered. כמו שכתוב מקבלים, the ot vav, the ot vav is a remez לכל, which is a דיבור, the ot vav הוא סוד הכל כנודע, the ot tav is a remez למעשה, שהיא גלויה, ואין לך ot גלוי כמו ot tav, מפני שהיא סופה דכל דרגים, but it's the end of all the levels, ואין לו את החלט האחרי הלחצותה, there's nothing to cover it, right? וזהו שאמר, that's what it means, ואת, the ואת, רמז למחשבה דיבור מעשה, ואת אשר חטא מן הקודש, מינים, פירוש. If you were, he said אותה מן הקדושה, שהוא מן השון, ואני הוא בני שלמה חטאים. So he come and he says, ישלם אותה מקדושתם על ידי דרך חמישתו. How are you supposed to do it? The תשובה. חמישיתו is באות ה, שמשרה חמש. אז זה פיפס, what is חמישית? A fifth. So he says, do תשובה, the ה. Right, you remember that when it's written that this world was created with the ה, the entire concept of תשובה, that you come back, and this, that's all the אות ה. יוסף עליו, מתוצא מלובה. רוב החמישיתו הוא שני אותיות, ה' ראשונה ואחרונה של שם הוויה. It's the first and last letters of the ה' of the שם הוויה. תשובתו היא לה ותשובת התא. אז עוזב עליו, you have to have a חלק תוות עליו, חילק תוות עליו, you have to divide the word עליו to be, to, to do. You're going to create it, י' ו', which would write י' ו', שבשם הוויה, שמשתלם בתשובה. כמו שכתוב מקובלים, תשוב ה'. 
Okay, that's the Teshuvah, Teshuvah. So he says, Nimtza, so it comes out. Shlemut esh Yisrael u b'shlemuto b'shushah b'ni Kedushot in his Kedot. A Yish Yehudi, he becomes Kadosh in the three Kedushot. Lekach, and therefore, Kama Dvanim Yikrim Nitu Lo Yisrael Shiloh, that's why there's so many things which are always given in three. HaTorah Shich Yutam Yishuzu B'Tanach, it's three. Torah Nivim Ketuvim. Penatana B'Yerech Tlitai, it was given in the third month. Nisan Yar Sivan, in Sivan. Al Yedet Tlitai, right? Aron Miriam Oron and Moshe. Right? V'chena Mitzvot and Meshulashim. Also Mitzvot, Mitzvot and Chukim Mishvatim. Tfilot and Shulashim. Shachrit Tfilot, Raim in Haravit. V'chem Nekom HaTfilah, Shuhu Betek Netzim, Kam Kim Shulashim Shulash Kedushot. Sham Kedushat Sefer Torah, Kedem Kedushat HaMachshavah Shabadam. So the Sefer Torah is the Machshavah. The Torah, right, is the Chokhmah. So therefore that's where the Machshavah. V'chem Nekom HaTorat Chesed, Torat Chesed Lashonah. V'chem Nekom HaTorat Moshe Rabbeinu, Shul Yisod Do Chokhmah. V'od Sham Kedushat Aron HaKodesh, You have the Sefer Torah, You have the Aron HaKodesh, which is a Pticha Mekedushat, it's less than the Sefer Torah, and that's connected to the Dibur. כי כל דיבור הוא סוד כלים, זה נקרא כלים. ועוד שם קדושה בית הכנסת עצמה, which is less than ארון הקודש, and that's קדושת המעשה. לכן זו לנהוג כבוד ומונה בבית הכנסת, כי מכבד בית הכנסת שהוא משנה של שלוש קדושות, שיהיה נשפע קדושה משולשת לנהרה, נפש ואחרונה שמה, שיהיה קדוש בשלוש קדושות.